Well, you guys, today we're taking a look at how to run Android TV from a USB flash drive or external drive. You can do this and run this on any PC that you want to. Mini PCs, laptops, it'll work with all of those devices. But before we do that, let's have a quick word from today's video sponsor, VIP SCD Key. If you're looking for cheap Windows 10 Pro or cheap Windows 11 Pro OEM keys, then check out the links in the video description. Once you've signed up an account, you can use my promo code capital B capital R 09 and apply this jewel and get a 25% discount on all your purchases on VIP SCD key. Now, once you submit your order, you'll be able to use PayPal or any other payment method you see on the screen. Once you pay now, they will then send you your key to your account and you can then use that key to activate your version of Windows just like you see on the screen. Okay, so let's go ahead and create our bootable media for our Android TV. I'm going to be using Rufus for this one. I'm going to be using the portable version here. So I've got all these in a folder here. I've got my ISO file with Android TV on it. Also Rufus and we have a four gigabyte data file here. Now there's ones out there that go right up to 64 gigabytes. Again, if you find one of those and you want to use it, that's entirely up to you. I'm going to go ahead and extract this into a folder on my desktop here and once we've got this extracted we'll then be able to go ahead and open up Rufus and start to create our bootable media so that's already now done you can see the image file is right here so what I'm going to do first is create our bootable media so let's go ahead and open up Rufus I'm running a 32 gigabyte flash drive here I'm going to choose my image and I've got that installed here partition scheme for this one needs to be GPT and we've also got UEFI non-CSM. I'm pretty sure that if you've got secure boot enabled here, it's not going to work. So you may need to uh, disable that. So I'm going to go ahead and put the volume label in as Android TV. Leave the file system as FAT32 here. And there is our drive right here. Click start and it will erase all the data on that drive and go ahead and install it. You'll see a notice here saying that you will need to disable secure boot here. So that's what I did on my system. Now, another thing I want to mention is I did try to run this on a brand new system and it would not boot and it would not load up for some reason. I'm not sure why, but it does work on slightly older systems and I got it to work flawlessly on that. So I'm going to click OK here. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to click OK again and it's going to erase the data on that USB flash drive. So let's click OK here and this will then create our android tv usb flash drive now everything is going to be contained on this usb flash drive uh, and i'll go ahead and then boot to it so that is now complete now we do need to put in that four gigabyte file that's going to be for our data storage on here so let me go ahead and open up our android tv uh, usb flash drive here and you can see we need to add in some storage here so i'm going to go ahead and use the file that come with this particular android tv now I'm going to scan this also just to make sure there is no nasties on here. So I'm just going to drag that over here. And again, we'll just copy that 4 gigabyte file. Now depending on how fast your uh, USB flash drive is, will determine how long that takes. Okay, we can see we have the data.image file there. It's a, just a blank file where you can store data. So we're going to go ahead and now take a look. So what I want to do first is I'm going to quickly scan this to make sure uh, the drive is clean. So let me go ahead and quickly uh, scan this uh, drive here. I'm going to right click on this and we'll go to show more and scan with ESET. It shouldn't take too long. There we go. And it's come back clean. I also want to do another scan on the inside of the files. Now, the reason why I'm scanning this is just to make sure that the system is clean because obviously I've not created this ISO. It's been created by someone else. So again, use this at your own risk. So I'm going to go ahead and quickly do a quick scan again, and it has come back clean. That doesn't necessarily mean that this is a safe ISO to use. I'm just showing you how you can go about using Android TV on a USB flash drive. I certainly wouldn't do mission critical stuff on this. So I've got an old laptop here, which I'm going to put this onto because uh, I just want to use this to test it because the new laptop did not work. So I'm going to go into the BIOS first. And I'm going to quickly change the boot order 
to boot to that USB flash drive. So let me go ahead and quickly power that on. There's a little button down here. And there we go. That should be working now. And what I'll do is I'll quickly change the boot order here uh, once I get into the BIOS screen. And it should look something like this. This is an old ThinkPad here. I just wanted to quickly test it on this to see whether it works. And it seems to work okay on this one. So I'm going to go ahead and change this. Now you can see I'm in uh, UEFI non-CSM mode and I've also got secure boot off and I've also got the boot priority set to that USB flash drive. And what we'll do is we'll click, click quickly boot to that USB flash drive. So I'm going to go ahead and save those settings by pressing F10 and this will then load up. You should see something looking like this and I'm going to click on the very first option here called Android TV. Uh, but there's some other stuff on here you can mess around with if you wanted to play around with this stuff. But again, I'm going to use Android TV here and push enter. And this will then boot to our USB flash drive with Android TV on it. There's a bit of text that comes up and then you'll get to this screen right here. Uh, you may, will be asked to connect to the Wi-Fi, obviously because you need Wi-Fi connectivity to download stuff. And if you want to set up any of this other stuff, you can do and log in and set up. Uh, I did do that and it worked perfectly fine. I'm going to go ahead and uh, connect to the Wi-Fi here. And uh, I'm just going to go settings here and come down to where it says uh, network and internet. And this should give us the option to connect to some sort of Wi-Fi connection. So let's go ahead and do that. And there is the Wi-Fi here. I'm just going to connect to this one. Once we click on this one, it will start to connect. And it should say connected once we get connected to the Wi-Fi. There we go, we're connected. So now you can go ahead and go through usual stuff. This is the actual file manager here. You can see your main storage here, and you can also see there's four gigabytes on there, and there's the Android TV USB flash drive right next to it. So everything's running from here. We haven't downloaded and installed anything yet, but I did test uh, some things on here, and it seemed to work okay. There were some things that did not work, and uh, again, you are running this from a USB flash drive. So I did try to uh, do YouTube. Uh, YouTube worked perfectly fine on here. You can see a search works okay. Did a search for my stuff. And I'll quickly uh, do a search and do a play of uh, Big Buck Bunny as well and see whether that works perfectly fine. And then we should be okay to use YouTube. And there we have Big Buck Bunny running right here. It runs really well, nice and smooth as you'd expect. And again, that is working okay. Just want to skip this to see if it works and it's working flawlessly. So we know we can stream on YouTube and stuff like that. Again, I did try to uh, play some games and stuff like that. There were some things on here that you don't need to sign up for, which is uh, some of the apps on here. You can just go ahead and use those, but some of them you will need to uh, sign up in to download applications or programs and games to play them on this Android device. It works just like Android TV does. You've got a load of different stuff on here. I'll quickly scroll through some of this stuff. As you can see, there's loads of stuff here you can go through and games to play on here. You can download these and play them if you want to. Anyway, that's pretty much it. It's got some pros and cons to it. It's not perfect, but it does work, but it doesn't work for everything. If you want to have a little play around with it, by all means do so. Uh, but do so at your own risk because this is not an official release by Android. Anyway, with that said, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. I shall catch you in the very next video. Have a lovely weekend and thanks again for watching. Bye for now.